What's up guys, welcome to Blue Room Gaming. We are talking the Division 2 open beta. It is out right now. It was out from yesterday. I believe it goes all the way up to Sunday, possibly Monday. But regardless, let's get right into it. Am I excited for this game? What am I excited for? What am I not excited for? What was the good? What was the bad? So let's jump right into it, going right into the good. This game is fucking fun. Holy shit, I am having an absolute blast with this game. I did not really play a ton of the Division 1. I played a little bit. Didn't love it, just was not for me at the time. Jumping into it now though, oh my god, I am fucking just having a blast. The gunplay in this game, fucking so good. Just so much fun. Um, playing Anthem recently, this is night and day better. Granted, Anthem, wildly different game, but even Destiny. I, I think, I mean, still, first person versus third person view, still wildly different. This is much more slower paced, a lot more duck and cover, popping up, firing some shots. But I will just say this, man, the gunplay feels fucking great. Playing with mouse and keyboard also, the controls, really, really good. I, I'm a little hesitant with third-person games with mouse and keyboard controls. I feel like they can be a little finicky at times. These fucking nail it, though. Really good. Really satisfying. Also, crank up the sound because the gunshots, man. Oh, my God. When you have, like, one of those big-ass guns, single fire and you're just fucking firing away, just hearing that, that gunshot and those echoes off the walls, it's very satisfying. It's, it's really giving me a nerdgasm with this shit, man. It's fucking so good. Also, it runs really well. I had to actually crank it down, the settings. I was not able to run it at the highest settings that I was hoping. Might need to be upgrading the computer sooner than I thought, but once I did kick the settings down, 60 frames per second across the board, no real issues there. A few bugs, a few issues, nothing game breaking, no pop in, nothing where it was like, what the fuck, this is broken. No complaints with that at all. But when you load into the map, that is it. You are loading into the map. So playing Anthem, playing Destiny even, you have to load into each world, each mission. Not with the Division. The Division will throw you into the map and that's it. So if you need to go to a mission, you just walk right into that mission. If you're going into a side mission, if you need to change your gear, if you have to go back to base, it's all just right there. You just walk right up to it and you're done. There's no loading screens. Um, if you do fast travel back to base, though, you will get a minor loading screen, but not that significant. Really pretty quick and no complaints. I was just blown away, especially coming from Anthem where you're waiting for fucking eternity. Um, also, while you're in game, you just pop open your inventory at any time. Very quick, very snappy, you can just switch shit, just w so nice. Many systems are really well done. Um, I don't like that you have to double click or hit space to go into some things, but overall, really no complaints. Just very well done all across the board with that. I love the GPS system, so hitting M, pulling up the map, you click on something, you are giving a very nice GPS of how to get there. Very much appreciated. I like that a lot. I hate getting lost and spending hours fucking trying to navigate to somewhere to just to figure out that it was right there in front of me the whole fucking time. Great. Love the GPS. Think it's great. Wish more games, especially in this nature, would do that. Looter shooters, I feel like you're just constantly trying to go to the next thing, go to the next thing, get the best gear that you can. So it's very much appreciated that you just kind of have, and you don't have to use the GPS by any means. Uh, I know some people like to explore it. For me, I'm very big on like, hey, where do I go? Okay, what's the quickest way to get there? Because I just constantly want that better loot, just that better drop. Um, and also the drops, pretty good. They're pretty regular. You get like these loot crates. I believe they're called caches in this. You get like two or three things from them. Doesn't seem bad at all. It seems like you're constantly getting new and better things. Um, very satisfying so far. Uh, I just, I cannot wait for this fucking game to come out just because of the grind, man. I'm, I'm ready. I'm fucking pumped. Like, if you couldn't tell already, this is the looter shooter that I think I have been waiting for, which is crazy because this game was not even a little on my radar. Going back six months, or fuck, I guess almost a year now, to E3, when I saw this, I was like, eh, just, eh, whatever. To Division 2, like, Division 1 did nothing for me. I didn't think the trailer looked that great. I was like, eh. And then I got the code for the, um, open beta for I guess like two weeks ago or so now, I was like, holy shit, this is so much better than I was expecting. And then playing this, man, I'm just like, oh my god, I'm fucking like salivating. I just want to play more of this fucking game. Like, I cannot wait. Especially, they give you like about an hour or so of gameplay in the beginning uh, to start off with a new character. I just picked one of the random ones. None of this shit carries over, so I just did random character pick. 
once I get the full game and shit carries over, I'll dive much deeper into the character creator. But right now, just like, fuck it, give me whatever. So I thought she looked kind of funny. I was like, I'll just stick with her. So then they also give you, once you complete um, the main missions with the open beta, they give you some end game content and just give you like all this great end game gear. And that shit's fun as hell to play through. The end game mission, man, it's fucking just awesome. You've got like these fucking mechs coming at you. They look like there's something out of Metal Gear. Uh, just fucking explosions, shit's going crazy, there's these drones that are exploding coming at you, there's gas cans everywhere, so there's explosions left and right, oh my god, it's so fucking satisfying, I am loving every second of this game, I cannot wait for it to come out, just please, I need the fucking 15th to get here already, um, also, the map looks really good, very, very good variety, all of the areas look kind of different, I mean, it is like Washington DC, it's a city, but it just looked I'm basing this off of Anthem as well. Anthem, where I feel like it was the same forest just fleshed out over a pretty big-sized map, and it's like, oh, nope, it's the same waterfalls, the same trees. This, it's like you're getting a lot more variety. The exploration when you're within a building, a lot better, so you can kind of, like, search for loot. Oh, man, I, I can't praise this game enough. It's, it's awesome. The explosions are great. Really good so far. There's also, like, when you have enemies coming at you, they've got, like, red packs on there where it's either, like, a grenade or a stun grenade or some kind of, like, smoke that's gonna stun you. You can shoot that off them, they just catch on fire, and it's just like, oh my god, it's so fucking cool. Special weapons that you get, like the turrets, the seeker grenades, um, the drones, all really fun. They don't recharge as quickly as I would like them to. It'd be nice to kind of have them pop a little bit faster, but... Maybe you get some perks later on in the game that do make them go a little bit quicker. Just right now, with it being so early, um, I just wanted to use them more. But I guess it is kind of overpowered. The gunplay just feels so good anyway, so it's. I guess you don't want to have them pop too quickly, but maybe something makes them a little bit faster. That would be nice. So uh, while saying all of this, there are a few bad things that I must touch on as well. Nothing game-breaking, nothing that's making me even hesitant to purchase this game. A few different bugs. Uh, like I said, I mean, granted, this is also the beta, so some bugs are expected. The voice acting, at times, not too bad. At times, fucking comically bad. Just listen to this clip. We're under attack! Intruders at the east entrance! Then kill them! What the fuck? It's a division! So? Fucking kill them! Um, yeah. Really, kind of just... I mean, I'm not expecting anything from this story, which is fine. This is a looter shooter. This is not something where I'm playing for the story. I am playing it to get some gear and to have some fun-ass gameplay, and it is fucking delivering on both of those so far with these two betas that I've played. Um, also, the melee is fucking garbage. As great as the gunplay is, the melee might be some of the worst I've ever seen in a video game. It's comically bad. Just watch this here. Like, it's so unsatisfying. It doesn't look like I'm hitting them. I can't really tell if I'm hitting them. The melee is a last resort, and I don't recommend ever using it. Yeah, it's just kind of funny. Hell. Like, Destiny, when you hit with them, when you contact, it feels good. Um, Anthem, it didn't really feel great. Felt better than this, but the Anthem's gunplay my, was fucking trash. Um, but this one, man. Oh, God, I cannot wait for this game. So, so excited. Definitely going to be picking this up day one. Don't really want to justify spending the $100 to play it a few days early. We'll see what's going to be in that year one pack. I am very much against it, but fuck, I cannot wait for this game. So pumped. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Like, subscribe, share if you liked it. Dislike it if you don't. That is it for me. I cannot wait. I'm going to go play more of this game because it is so fucking good. Go check out the beta. It's available for another day and a half. Or possibly till Monday, not sure. But regardless, definitely check this one out. So that is it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And until the next one, see ya. Agent Vital Signs, zero. He didn't have to die here.